Okay, so I'm off of the back side of the house on Selma Ave in Halethorpe. Um, the reason why I'm starting from the back is I want to show you the roof, but I might as well just show you. you got a garage shed here that needs some work. Nice paved driveway though, maybe just need some fresh tar. Alright, so that's the main thing that I saw in this house was signs of water damage, the ceiling coming down in the kitchen. And so I'm trying to end these really big holes right here. No idea what the cause of them is. <laughs> I'm just trying to show the roof. So as you can see, it's been patched on the left. It's bowing a lot. Definitely needs to be repaired. And um, you'll see, I'm guessing the water came in there and ran down into the kitchen. This addition right here is the end side of the kitchen. Um, windows have been replaced. Except for the, you know, the basement. It's got asbestos siding though. No central air. But let me go ahead inside. Just need some sprucing up, some fresh paint. I know this is blurry, but my, my other camera failed me today. There we go. Just showing little minor things. I do like the paving, the landscaping here in the front. There's paving stones. It's a nice block. And the homes around it seem pretty nice. Right off of Magnolia. And I think that's Washington Boulevard down uh, straight ahead. See some Bowen on the roof up there. So we enter over here, there's a front porch. Need some repair, and there's also two front doors, so you'd have to do a bit of framing. I guess this is the original front door, and then this one was added later. Nice little porch, though. So we enter, and right there, some more sign of water damage. That's just some discoloration, though. So I guess this would be the living room, and the dining room, and kitchen. The other thing I wanted to point out is, um, well, there's two things in this room. The first is this guy right here. As you can see, it's like, this is how you control your temperature right there on the ground. Never seen that before. Um, and some of the electric has been updated, but I have noticed a couple of outlets on the wall. Well, that one's a three prong. The ones on the floor are only two prong. So they may need to be updated. There's another one around here somewhere I saw. Um, the walls are, they're not 100% flat. See a big crack on that one over there. There's like a, something going on on the corner right there. It's like a little uh, bubble almost. Like if you can look. It's, it's, I guess it's flat enough though. I think what they did was they just painted over wallpaper. And that's why it looks that way. Nice high ceiling, though. So this is the dining room. Um, this is Pergo, but to the left is the original hardwood. And this is what I was talking about with the kitchen. The cabinets look great. You might even be able to leave, although the cabinets to the left don't match the rest of them. But here's your ceiling damage. It's a shame, though. These cabinets are in good shape. Okay, here's the basement. I'll just go show the basement real quick. It's a shame because the ceiling height is high. Not so much coming down the stairs. I'm tall enough, but someone else who's taller than me might have to duck their head. And the other problem is, there's the footer right here. So you have to duck around that. But as you can see, it's been partially finished um, here on the left-hand side. Oh man, I think I got dust in my lens, but I'm not going to worry about it now. Uh, the electric... As you can see, the wires are exposed. Uh, it's not the newest in the world, but... No, I guess it's alright. So this wall's been... I mean, the ceiling height's a little... 
low, but I guess it's doable. The plumbing, I think, needs to be updated. Some of it's copper, but I think a lot of it is that other stuff, the rusty stuff. Um, some of it's PVC, though. For the most part, the electric seems updated, like it has that plastic around the outside. And it's pretty dry. It's got a French drain, as you can see, around the outside. I'm not too sure where the sump pump is, though. Might not be a sump pump down here. Just a French drain. Old gas furnace. But this is natural gas, or it looks like, or is that oil and they just have that vent? I don't know. For the hot water. Alright, heading this way, just show the bedrooms and the attic real quick. This is why I, I think you might want to knock this wall out on the left hand side. Well you can leave this as a room, it's not really a bedroom because there's no closet, but you can leave this as a bedroom to make it a four bedroom house, or you could just make that the nice big living room, take out that wall. Two bedrooms. Maybe 10 by 10, 10 by 11. And then this one, check out this door. <laughs> it's pretty cracked. Um, this one's about the same size. Just show it off the closet. Okay, and then from here, we go back. You have your bathroom to the left. So, in the bathroom. And then upstairs. You have to step up. But you do have a nice finished space. Somebody spent money on this. And it seems like all the water damage is coming from the left, the part that we can't see. Showing there is some drywall damage here. Roof problems here still. It's a nice, big, finished master, high ceilings, very spacious, and then here's your second bath. So it's nice, this is already all set up. You got his or her vanities. Shame that one spot, that one drawer, oh, there it is. I just repair that. And a shower and toilet over here. So the size of the house, Makes one think that it has a decent amount of potential. So a lot of work does need to be done to it. Okay, that's it.